on the draw again, and this hand seems fine. Uh, might be blue, white, red, or it could just be a dark version of zoo. Uh, maybe mono white with a little bit of black in it. All right. Uh, Probably use this to get white. Yeah. Pull uh, abrupt decay the figure next turn, let him invest some mana into it. Hopefully, he'll just exhaust one of his lands here to, in a weird way, level it up and then like play a tap land or something. So far, everything's going according to plan. Yep. Uh, can't say I know what this is. All right now, I'm not sh quite sure if I want to get black, white, or green, white here. Uh, we do have triple black in our deck. So I'm leading toward, I'll just get the Gala Shrine. Alright, um, just gonna leave a Brett Decay up here. And then, hopefully, I'll play a land main phase one, attack, go to the blocker step, and then he'll try to level it up to, like, was it 4 4? If he doesn't, I'll probably just take the hit. So I want him to invest his mana into it. Okay, so here's where I would take the hit. Well, now. He didn't play a land, so I think it's a good time to kill it. A little nervous killing it, not knowing exactly what his deck does, but I'll go ahead and take my risk. Alright. I guess I can just play Kitchen Finks. Yeah, let's do that. Hopefully we can try to win this quickly because this will get out of hand. So he just wants to draw a bunch of extra cards. I haven't seen this land in a while. This is just like a big card advantage deck, I guess. Hmm. I think I'm okay attacking into his Bob here. Or I could even like attack into the Bob, play this in Deathmart Shaman. Or I could copy the Bob. Uh, no, I don't need that many extra cards. I'll just attack into Bob, see if he blocks. Because he still doesn't really know that we're Malaria yet. Alright, so he had the path anyway, which I guess kind of worked out. Um, hmm. I'll get a, I'll get a forest. I think in terms of basics, we need to cash out the lands correctly. Alright. So it's between two of these one drops or a pod and one of the one drops. Um, I think it's better to get pod out now. And then I want to try and get my death right shaman active as soon as possible. So, um, what two cards will I discard? 
think I'm going to keep the ores off Pontiff, so just these two. Could trade here, but I think I want to keep my Death Rite Shaman. I see what he's trying to do. I haven't really seen Dex try to abuse that card because the new uh, the new Demir Guild Mage usually does better than this with Minecrank. Okay, so he's not playing Blightning this turn. I guess I don't really care that much which one he takes. Probably take the metamorph, I guess. I'd probably, yeah, I'd just make another pod. But if he doesn't, then I get value with this. Needs what, two counters? Three counters, okay. That was a good draw. I don't think I just win by any means. I could go and shoot his... Yeah, so I can go up to four, kill his Tidehull Sculler. I guess that's at least four mana, if not all five mana. Then, if I go four mana, drop the bird. And still have Deathrite... No, I have Deathrite Shaman for mana. Alright, so I'll, I'll do that. I think I'm going to play my bird first. That way... Um, I can haunt the bird because I'm going to pod the bird next turn in case something happens. Alright, so Acme pod. Alright, now this is... Oh, geez. Okay, so there's a technical a technicality here. I need to spend this green mana. Here, I know. I'll, I'll add the mana first. There we go. And now I pod this, haunting the bird. And I get red cap. I kill this. So having the metamorph back in my hand gives me potential options for next turn. And if... Uh, he doesn't have any good answers next turn, I can just kill him. The best thing you can do is path of this, and it doesn't, like, really save him. But he does have a lot of cards in his hand, so let's see what he can do. Okay, he plays Blightning here, so I do discard these two. But I could almost, still, depending on my top deck, I could turn this into Rebel Arc. Yeah, it's pretty bad for him. Pathing Revel Arc would be a little annoying, though. Best thing I can get here, I guess, is another pod. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Alright, so I could turn this into Revel Arc. And it would kill that, or I can turn this into something and it'd still kill that. Um, let's see. I can't get the Revelark to die, though, which is what I need to do. Or somehow bring... Now that it, I don't think it matters. I'd have to some, find some way to blink the Revelark. So that plan doesn't do me any good. I don't think there's any two drops that help me either. 
Spell skate doesn't do anything. I saw just go get Revel Arc. I'll attack first though. I mean, if he has Mind Crank, I guess he might just win next turn. Alright, um, let's see. One, two, three, four. So I'll pay life here, I guess. Or no, I've got a bird. Still might want to play life so my Death Rite Shaman's active. Yeah, let's do that. I guess I did lose life, huh? Well, let's just hope he doesn't have Minecraft. Might have been correct to try to find a way to kill these, but I don't think I have any in these with this combination of creatures. If I untap, I think I can win, though. Okay. Okay. I'll lose two life. I guess he doesn't play Minecrank. I'm not really sure why he wouldn't. It's actually a little annoying when I think about it because I can't turn one of these into the aristocrat to kill him. Here what I'll do, let those get their counters. And I will drain him, taking away his path, I guess, I don't know. I don't think it matters. And then we will activate Township. That's unfortunate. Gotta be careful. So I'm gonna lose four life down to or yeah, down to three. And then I lose one down to why well, I lost the one, I guess. Oh no, I gotta take damage. Guess I can't really afford to take any damage. So I gotta swamp. As soon as I pot, I go to one. But I think I might kill him, but I don't know, he's gaining life. So I might not just be able to pot. It might be too risky. But this attack will kill him if he has no response. Okay, so there's his response. Does this attack still kill him? Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. And potting doesn't help because um, I'll gain four life. But now I get two cards back. I get my library to kill him, but every time this goes to the graveyard, these are going to trigger, so that doesn't work. Metamorph doesn't do anything. I guess Metamorph can hit for another two, down to eight. And that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that'll work. So we'll get Metamorph and I guess we'll get Malyra. Now we'll get we'll get a uh, aristocrat. Yeah, 
because I can pop from wherever if necessary. Okay, so this should kill him. As long as I don't like do anything stupid. Alright, so that was a really weird game one, made a few decisions that might have been questionable. Lightning hates this card, he dislikes that card, I think a Brub Decay is probably good. Pride Mage is probably good. Don't know if that card's good with Path to Exile. Pontiff, I don't know if he's good either. Uh, Wall Roots doesn't seem as necessary. Kind of survive his onslaught. Still three cards over. Metamorph doesn't do as much. Yeah, Pontiff's not very good. I think we could probably cut one of the down too, since we're trying to oppress his board state with good cards in these colors. This seems fine. Not as much. Pod anymore. Okay, so he places Ascension. I'll let it take up before I kill it with the Brub Decay. Uh, I think it's good here too. Well, I don't want Ascension to trigger, so I'll just go get a Swamp. Take this, I guess. I, I might have to kill that creature. Hopefully, I don't. Okay, so he has nothing. I want to get him with a blightning here, but he might he might take his blightnings out against this. This isn't the best matchup for blightning. Not too shabby. If I take the two life, though, we'll get a counter. So I'll hold off. I don't think running the things out here right now is that necessary. So is he going to... nope, he's just going to draw cards. Okay. This will be virtually meaningless if I just make sure I don't take too, like, too much per turn without pawn or anything. And... I might be able to use that for something better. We'll just have to see. But I'm fine with him letting me draw cards. I mean, I've got the kill in my hand. He doesn't do anything to the Finx. I would love for him to blinding me here. That'd be sweet. Row, that's fine. So I can't quite go off yet. I'm gonna have to get a township activation. But I'll probably just go ahead and cast the Bailoth here. Or he'll take my Bailoth. No, he'll probably take the Abrupt Decay. 
Ooh, he's really that was really close. I almost killed him there. I mean, you can't. He, I guess he has to take the abrupt decay. I guess he's planning on a uh, playing lightning, but then, all right, well, to exist. That's good too. Maybe one counter on that isn't the worst. Do I just play and blow it? I might just kill that. Uh, it's a toss up. I think I want to use this to kill whatever it is I'm going to kill here because uh, this can hit his creature. So he knows I drew this card. I think I'll attack you. Yeah, I mean, I actually wouldn't let him trade there, but I don't. I didn't expect him to anyway. The question is, do I play the Visser here? I, no, I don't think I need to. So he hits a counter, which is fine. Attacks here and just take it, I guess. Yeah, I'll just take it. I think I'll end a turn abrupt now. If I have another Oblivion Ring, let's see what he targets. Please target the kitchen fence. Really? Is it that important? I can just abrupt decay the oblivion ring, but I might as well make it wasted. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, hitting kitchen fence there was going to be stupid. I guess that would have let me win next turn. If that's the downside of taking the hit, but abrupt decay is still alive. So this leaves me a lot of plays out. I'm going to try and turn Township to remove the token. But I still have answers if something goes wrong. And if he has path, I can actually, like, township scry, which isn't terrible. But I can't let this stay where it's at, because that just kind of shuts off my engine. So we just get like two for zero. Took two cards to kill the kitchen pinks. Mm. Kinda need to find a kitchen pinks here. As good as this card is. So here he takes the abrupt decay. 
He's down to nine life though, so yeah, have to be careful. I mean, he can't not take the abrupt decay. Okay, I guess he can. Okay, so here I'll just run this out. So he knows the two cards in our hand. It's fine. Probably just going to try and beat him down. If this gets active, I'll just kill it. Okay. Oh, that happens. Lots of paths. I think, yeah, I'll just take the hit and then decay this. Actually, decaying this might not be terrible either. So I can play that and, yeah, let's do that. I don't like letting him have that, but I have other ways to kill it. I guess I had other ways to kill it too, but I didn't want to take the hit here. And then this gets me, this nets me cards. I'm not as worried about that card. That's a good draw. I took out Rebel Arc, so I don't need that. So I have one Vistra Seer and the two Death Ranks and some birds. I want to play the pod here. I want to try and make sure that's not active and I need blockers. I guess I don't I can't play pod here, huh? I'll just run everything out. It might still take two turns to win, it just depends. I'm probably going to try and kill this first. So, turn L. Yeah, turn this into. Uh, so, if I turn this into. I forget the name. Sliver, kill that. I can uh, turn the sliver into a red cap and then this into Malira if I don't need to block. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about uh, trading two creatures here. I think I'll just chump. what the point of that is. Just cards, I guess. Alright. It's a really good draw. So we'll just leave this on top. I'll turn this into Spellskite. Yeah. I mean, he'll probably have a response anyway. Ew, gross. So now I have to go out of my way to kill this card. Oh, yeah, I'll kill it with the card I'm drawing. So he has one card in his hand. Which is probably... Okay, so we win. Cool. Interactions are fun. Okay, we gotta make sure... One, two, three, four. Kill that. One, two... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So he could pay a bunch of life, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. I don't actually, I don't even need pot. I can just ignore, I don't have to do anything, I just play this and kill him. Yeah. 
So I'm just not going to get him to get my pod back. Does that. Because I have another one in my hand. That's funny. I was thinking too hard on that one. Alright, well, that was the match there. Sometimes you can just draw the the pieces you need to win. This was a very weird attrition based deck, kind of almost like extort that kind of just drains your opponents out and disrupts you as much as it can. But, I mean, I haven't really seen this deck before, but it wasn't terrible. I'm not sure how much I like the Blood Chief Ascension, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.